Hello, I'm Atsuba George and I'm so blessed. Praise God. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, you can't talk about the Holy Spirit and feel normal. Nah, it's impossible. Except you don't really know what you're talking about. See, when we talk about him, he, 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 he acts like he wants to just explode. <laughs> Praise God. Can we call for that daily bread? Listen, mean this with your heart. Say, Father, I make demand for my daily bread today. And I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we're talking about the glory of Jesus. Do you know, do you know what God did for you when, you when He gave you the Holy Spirit? Do you know what God did for your life? Do you know? You see, <clears throat> if you will only trust the Lord, and the spirit that he has given to you. See, when we say every believer is supposed to speak in tongues, it's not because we're using that to intimidate some people. No, the reality of our life is that you need this. Look at what I was sharing with you yesterday. What is the tongues we speak? We are speaking the, the same Holy Spirit that, you know, that, that thing, and each time I say it, it just, it, it just fires me up. The same words the Father spoke in creation. Words given to him by the Holy Spirit. is the same words the Holy Spirit is bringing to me today. So, hey, how, how can I lack? How can I suffer? How can I be in trouble and not know how to come out of it? How? No, tell me how. How? How can I be in, 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 in a situation and not know what to do? At least I know one thing. Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, so the Father doesn't speak death. Now, now, now. I love breath of Venus, Vanda, Atiya. Now, uh, understand something here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> understand something. Ah, can you take this? You see, I was telling something, I think on Tuesday. The, the Spirit of God is stirring us up to begin to bring forth some depths of truth. Now, every child of God is a custodian of truth, okay? Now, when you're called to be a teacher of the word, you are a custodian of <laughs> some depths. And like the Bible says, if you're called to teach, wait. Okay, so you don't just rush. Oh, I just learned this thing. I want to blast it. Ah, you wait. Wait for the Father to say, it is time to let this out. And I was telling you on Tuesday that as the end is approaching, there are depths of God that we will begin to bring out. This is like the final message. This is like the complete message. So there are depths the Lord is going to be releasing. And, and, and these, these messages are going to usher us into the place for the end. Because while people are looking at, is there war? Oh, the Bible said there will be wars and rumors of war. Is there earthquake in diverse places? We don't look at those things. We look at the manifestation of truth until we realize in ourselves that there is nothing more coming out. Everything the Father has said is, is, is out there. And that's our sign. See? That's our sign. <sighs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, now, understand this. When the Father spoke, 
in Genesis chapter 1. Now, he didn't speak in Genesis chapter 1. As Genesis chapter 1 quoted, praise God. It's not like Genesis where it was when the father was speaking. Now, when, when, when the father spoke in the beginning, in six days, right? There was no fall of man. There was no disadvantage. So, God spoke in his perfection. God spoke in his excellency. He didn't speak from a place of um, the fall. He didn't speak from a place of, he wasn't rebuking. He wasn't correcting. He was speaking truth as he sees truth. So this is God looking at the end from the beginning without any obstacle in between, right? And then he began to speak what he sees as the end. So there is no default, there is no failure, there is no, um, um, there is no disadvantage in his words. I told you a few days ago, I said, God never spoke anything about the fall of man. No, he didn't. It is the job of the Holy Spirit when man fell to begin to walk things out, to bring man to what God has said. Okay. So today, when I receive utterance from the Holy Spirit, the utterance I'm receiving from the Holy Spirit is not according to my situation. Ah, yeah. As I receive utterance from the Holy Spirit, I'm receiving utterance as listening. The Holy Spirit is not telling me anything new. Jesus said he will not say anything new. He's not going to say, speak anything of himself. He's not going to tell me what he thinks. He takes from what the Father have already said. And he begins to put it in me. He begins to give me that utterance. And I begin to speak as the Spirit gives me utterance. What am I saying? I'm speaking the same perfect words without obstacle, without challenge that God spoke in the beginning when he was creating things. Those are the words I'm speaking. And, and while I begin to speak those words, my gaze is on him. Because he's the same one, I call he Sabah. He's the same one that the father rested in and trusted and is still trusting to bring to pass everything that he has said. He's the same one that is giving me the utterance. And guess what? He's the same one I'm going to trust to bring to pass everything. So, hey, listen, I can be in that tight corner of a room with nothing to my name all I have is just the clothes I put I'm putting on I can be in that place in life and then I begin to pray Holy Spirit what's the utterance for today he's not going to start giving me utterance on how to leave that little space no he is going to give me a chance according to what the Father said for today, this Friday, this day. He's going to give me those utterance. And guess what? When I begin to speak, something begins to happen in me. I told you yesterday, the earth is hearing, angels are hearing, the worlds are hearing, the air is hearing. The trees are hearing. So what begins to happen? Everything begins to receive life into them. The same way I have received life inside of me. Suddenly, though I am in that tight place, I begin to see myself big. I begin to see myself Now, when I begin to see that, what do I do? Uh-huh. 
Hi, lady. Now, this is, this is the mistake. Because what I'm saying is not new in experience. And that's the thing about the Word of God. See, there are lots of things that we don't know the teachings about, but by experience, the Holy Spirit, because He's the one that's working us, both to will and to do of His good pleasure, right? So there are things the Holy Spirit have let Now, every believer must have experienced this. There are things the Holy Spirit will lead you to do. You do it. Sometimes you're wondering, I don't know if that's right or wrong. And then one day, the Word of God will come concerning it and teach it. And it's, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, praise God. You know, I, I remember when I wrote my first book on Titan, and I kept receiving those, those um, testimonies. It's like, do you, know, do you know this thing you just said? It has happened to me several times, but I thought I was doing the wrong thing. But when I read the book, an understanding came to me. Yes. That's a sign that you have the Holy Spirit guiding you. So everyone who has the Holy Spirit will be living like this. So now, these things have been happening to believers. When you're praying in tongues, and, and when you pray, the things you see, they are not, you can't compare them with the physical place where you are. You, you, you're praying and you're seeing yourself in far better places, doing great things than where you are now. And you're wondering, hmm, hmm. Maybe my mind is just... No, your mind is not flying too much. What's going on is you are receiving utterance according to truth. And that truth does not recognize where you are. But guess what you do afterwards? Mm, mm. Ah, I wish these things are true. See? Now, when you speak like that, what are you doing? Hey, you are you are shutting down every life that you have released into the atmosphere. You just finished receive, releasing life by speaking, okay? Now, what were you speaking? The words the Father spoke. You just injected life. Then the next moment, you are saying, ha, ah, man, <laughs> if you see the kind of things I was receiving while I was praying, I wish it was true. Ah! Guess what you have done? You just exempted yourself from that day's activity. You just shut yourself down. What am I supposed to say? Speak. I see greatness all around me. I am receiving from every side. I'm the hell. He, he doesn't speak how to be healed. I know, Bradowski. No, maybe you're sick today. Oh God, heal me, heal me. Oh, recoboro. Eh, recoboro. He doesn't speak how to get healed. Because when he spoke, he didn't recognize sickness. So you're here, you're speaking those same words given to you by the Holy Spirit. You're speaking them and speaking them. And now here you are lying down. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm cold. I, my temperature is high. I don't know what's going wrong with me. It's okay, let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray. Remember, I'm going to be speaking utterance given to me by the Holy Spirit according to what the Father spoke when He created things. So, hey now, you, you, you start speaking. Now, you, you are speaking and speaking. Suddenly, strength, strength begins to enter your body. Strength begins to enter your body. Strength begins to enter your body. What do you do next? You get up. Now, what's going on? You are speaking truth. Now, your body, haya. <laughs> Your body have, have somehow gotten connected with the lies around. Are you getting what I'm saying? And so your body is responding to the lies around. So the flu is around and your body caught the flu. Okay, okay. So everybody's having it. So I'm just, you know, this is the season, it's the weather. Okay. Now you are speaking according to the utterance that the Holy Ghost is giving to you. That utterance does not recognize flu. It doesn't address the flu. That utterance speaks life and health. No wonder it says for they are 
health. They are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. That's why Romans, Romans 11 tells us, if the, Romans 8, 11 tells us, if the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal body. How? By the spirit that dwells in you. So the Holy Spirit is in you. God will give you life. How? By the Holy Spirit that's in you. Why would God give you life? Because he did not create death. Brothers and sisters, hey, listen, can you take this? Can you take this? In the six days that God created, he never spoke death. Ah, oh, yeah. He never spoke death. There was not one time in his six days of creating that he spoke death. He did not speak death, brothers and sisters. So what does that mean? If I speak in tongues today, according to the utterance that the Holy Ghost is giving me, there is no way I'm going to speak death today. Now, if I don't speak death today, how will I die today? How? If I believe what the Holy Spirit is saying, now, now, how, 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 how can I die today? If I speak life, if I speak life. Now, while I'm speaking life, strength is entering my body. Maybe my body is so weak. Strength is entering my body. Maybe you're already sick. Maybe you have cancer. Maybe you have whatever it is. Maybe, maybe leukemia, maybe um, um, whatever, whatever. And they say, look, just prepare to die. Maybe your organs are failing. Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm going to speak as you give me utterance today. So Holy Spirit, as I open my mouth, fill it with utterance. And knowing this, that the utterance is given to you is not according to the condition you find yourself. It's according to the truth in, when, in those six days that the Father created things. So you begin to speak. You begin to speak. As you speak, you are speaking life. Then guess what? Life is entering every part of your being. As you begin to feel that strength, don't just stay there and say, ah, man, I'm feeling so strength. Can you begin to respond? Can you now teach your body how to respond to this thing that is happening? Can you teach your body? Hey, body, you follow, you follow. Are you hearing me? Body, you re this is the one you react to. That's what your mind begins to tell your body. So it's time to get up, get up, get up, get up. Now, if the doctors have said something is failing, something is dead, something is dying, what do you do? Now you use your authority and say, hey, death out, life restored, sickness go, cancer go out of my body now. Because you're already speaking life. You are speaking life. There is supply coming to me. Hallelujah. Hey, there is so much supply coming to me today. It's coming to me today. Thank you, Jesus. You know, my time is up. We cannot have enough of this, brothers and sisters. Can you just trust the Holy Spirit now to begin to give you utterance? Don't remain where you are. Let your eyes be open to truth. And as you see, rise to it. As you hear, rise to it. Don't stay where you've been. It's time to change. That change is working in you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rise up, be healed if you were sick. Get out of that situation where you have found yourself for so long. It's time to change places. Rise. It's time for you to receive favor. Have a wonderful weekend. Listen, God is turning things around for you. Jesus name. I'll see you on Monday. God bless you. Bye.